fashion is one of my favorite forms of creative expression. And further, decorating myself in general is one of my favorite forms of self-care. After a long winter in Southern California, it's finally sunny with sea breeze floating over everyone again. I was inspired to create this lookbook because I realized that as a time of growth, spring is very different from any other season. Any color palette and any theme can work for spring because it's a time of exploration. I wanted them to be rewearable. I wanted them to be editable. I wanted them to work for almost any occasion. Naming them after some of my favorite types of media, these outfits are curated specially by me. And of course, you know I have to start with an unboxing because I found some of the cutest pieces at Urban Outfitters and at a small business I found. So, tis the season to update our wardrobes, as we all know. And as it gets into spring, I wanted to show you some of my favorite outfits. And I also wanted to show you some things I'm gonna be wearing in Europe this summer, which you'll see later in June and July. And of course I had to get some new clothes. I have Urban Outfitters and a small business called Drama for Breakfast. So I've been saving those to unbox with you guys. So first we have Drama for Breakfast. I ordered a baby tee. We'll see how it looks on. It's black and purple. Okay. Finally got her open. I ordered the Hopeless Romantic baby tee in a large and I was thinking of wearing it with some low-waisted pants or even just some black jeans. And then I do also have my pink sneakers that I think would be really cute with this. All right, here she is, so cute. Definitely gonna be showing you guys an outfit with her. I mean, I had to get it. It's so funny, it's so me, and it's my favorite color too. Next I have something from Urban Outfitters Marketplace. I think the actual brand it's originally from is Free People. The packaging is really cute, honestly. Double wrapped for me. Oh, I think I know what this is. I've been looking forward to getting this for like two weeks. They sent me a little thank you card and that's really cute. And then it's actually a pre-owned item as well. The material is so soft. This beautiful backless blue dress. Definitely going to be trying this on for you guys. And I love that it has double patterns and that it's also floral. I feel like you can dress it up or down and wear it for fall or spring because it has blue. I feel like this is going to be such a versatile dress. And then lastly, we just have an Urban Outfitters Britain package. This, I know some people might think it's a little bit more fall than spring but I love it and it was on sale. It's this green ballet slip dress. Well, I can't wait to try this on and wear it with some black docks or even some sneakers. So cute. If this dress doesn't say Frankie from Monster High, I don't know what does and I am in love with it. Like I said before, the mixing of the patterns is what really makes it for me. I love black and white together and I honestly love any light color with black as well, bringing the blue to draw out the color in my eyes. I'm wearing it with some Doc Martin Mary Janes for a little bit of a lift and an elevated, more classy look. I wanted this look to be casual, fun, and go from day to night. With a square neckline, it's really flattering on me, so I decided to pair it with some sneakers to dress it down. Adding this sweater makes it a little bit more of an indie, sort of grungy look rather than more of a ballerina look, but it also allows it to work for more casual occasions such as house parties or even school. Paired with the sneakers, it matches the right sleeve as well.
I'm absolutely obsessed with this dress, and it's funny because I never really wear anything like it. I never really wear dark brown, I usually stick with bright colors or neutral tones, and I also don't usually wear drop waists, but with the ruching in the middle and the comfortable cotton fabric, and as well as layering in the skirt, it was really really comfortable and easy to dress up or down. As a day to night dress, adding a simple sweater and some boots, or using sandals for a daytime look, this dress is so versatile and works for any season. Like its title, this dress is exactly me. This is what I would wear on a go-to night out, casual dinner, house party, girls night, or even just a bonfire. With boots and a simple sweater, this dress is beautiful. I love its square baby doll neck, as well as its length and shape. Just adding a simple blue sweater over it, this can be more of a night look as well. Also, ignore my dancing, I was listening to music, just vibing while I was recording this. For a perfect, hot, casual beach day, I had to choose this gorgeous Urban Outfitters dress. With a baby doll neckline and shape as well, it's very casual and makes for a great beach cover-up. I titled this hostessing an Italian restaurant on the beach because this is my work dress for hosting at an Italian restaurant on the beach, but I actually think this corset is really cute and comfy and has a really stretchable material while also being stiff and nice and holding its shape all night long. I had to get a close up because these floral details and the puff of the skirt is absolutely gorgeous. For my Lost in the Desert look, this is my absolute favorite dress from Free People. You'll notice it has a lot of material in the skirt, but it's very light so it's perfect for spring and summer. I paired it with some cowboy boots for a sort of Joshua Tree desert sort of California look. It also really reminds me of Daisy Jones, which obviously we love. The skirt is so long, but of course I had to show off the boots. This purple jumpsuit has been my hyperfixation outfit lately. I wear it at least three times a week and it's so cute and comfortable. It's a one piece set from Beyond Yoga and I love the flare pants style as well as it being my favorite color. And I usually wear it with Air Forces or Nikes to the gym, but at home I like to wear my Uggs. This LA indie look features a skirt from Los Angeles Apparel, Vintage boy shorts bikini with an open back, some tights, and some white Chuck Taylors. Simple and casual, the bodysuit aspect of the vintage bathing suit makes it a lot easier to style and keep up all day. You guys know I had to feature the new Hopeless Romantic shirt, and I had some jeans from Motel Rocks that are the exact color of the writing. It had to be a sign. My Gorpy outfit was my hiking outfit in Joshua Tree over spring break. These pants from Motel Rocks are cargo and mid-rise, and this shirt from H&M, which I got thrifted, is just so cute with hiking boots. The warm tones offset by these slate gray pants create a perfect desert dusty look. For 
my last outfit, I wanted to show you one of my go-to looks. It's this Love More tank top from Change, some tan dickies, and some Air Forces. I wear this almost any day of the week and it's so comfy and so simple. I love this tank top because it has ribbed, really strong material so I know it'll last forever. Bye!